Today I'm taking two ingredients that I absolutely love, meaty, beefy, short ribs, and Penang curry, and I'm gonna marry them together to make an epic dish. I hope you're hungry, cause it's gonna be delicious. This is a simple recipe with only a few ingredients and minimal prep. So to get started, you'll preheat your oven to 350 degrees and then take four shallots and cut them into quarters, followed by four to five garlic cloves that I thinly sliced. If you want a little bit of heat in curry, take two Thai chilies and make a small cut down the center to release some of the heat and flavor. Then we can move on to our short ribs and to get the most flavor from these ribs, we want to give them a good old fashioned rub down. I'm kidding. Don't do that. But seriously, season them generously on all sides with salt, and in the meantime, heat a large Dutch oven over medium high heat. Add in about two tablespoons of oil, and once it starts to lightly smoke, we can then add in our short ribs. We want to sear the meat and not boil it, so you want to make sure your pot is really hot and that it develops a nice crust on your short ribs. Otherwise, you'll just end up with boiled meat, and that isn't tasty. Once you've achieved the perfect sear like this, remove the short ribs and set aside. Use the same pot to fry your garlic and shallots for a few minutes and then add in your Penang curry paste, which you can find Thai curries at any Asian supermarket or make your own, completely up to you. Fry the curry paste with the shallots and garlic until aromatic and then add in your Thai chilies. I then re-add the short ribs back to the Dutch oven and pour in roughly 4 cups of beef broth or just enough broth so that some of the short rib is still exposed. Bring it up to a boil and cover with a lid and transfer it to your oven that is preheated. We are going to braise these bad boys for about 2 to 2.5 two hours or until fork tender. You can then transfer the pot from the oven back to your stove and carefully remove the short ribs and set aside. But we ain't done yet. Take one can of coconut milk and add that to your curry, followed by half a tablespoon of fish sauce and one tablespoon of sugar. Now, this next ingredient in my opinion is crucial to achieve that nostalgic type flavor and that is kaffir lime leaves. These can be tricky to find though, but luckily I was able to locate it at my Asian market, but you can always order it online. I also have a link in my description to purchase them but take about five or six lime leaves and tear them up to release their flavors and add them to your curry. Give it a good stir and carefully place your short ribs back into the pot. Let them simmer for an additional 15 minutes or so just so that the flavors really develop. Now it's time to serve. I'm starving so for the plating I took two of the biggest ribs I could find and centered them in a bowl and drizzled the curry sauce around and on top of the short ribs. I garnished my plate with some chopped peanuts, a sprinkle of parsley, and of course some more of that citrusy kaffir lime leaves. Man. That looks good. Oh man, I'm so excited. Bro, this is stupid good. I love curry, I love Thai curry, I love short ribs. Taking them and just marrying them together is like a match made in heaven. And if you think this is delicious, then you gotta check out my Vietnamese spring rolls. So click that link right there. Stay hungry, my friends.